yeah, I've just uh, been setting up my my studio here with lots of wires and lots of um, a little extra box, and it allows me to to talk to you through my microphone and so you can hear my music and also when I when I play. Um, just hang on one second. And so one thing I've never done, hoping my guitar doesn't fall over, don't fall over. Uh, one thing I've never done is recorded live me doing a mix. Um, I'm not sure what you'll think of it. Let, let, let's try it. So let me, let me move you. Hopefully your, your video won't freeze so, or my video won't freeze. Let's try this. Okay. Now, I, hello. Um, I'm not sure what will happen here, but let's give it a go. So what I'm going to do is, um, oh, there's the echo. So I need to listen to the echo. I'm not going to be able to talk while I do this because it'll just come into the, the recording. But let, let's, let's start with the mixing. Let's, let's do this. That sounds pretty good. Um, so I'm just going to hit record now. So you'll you'll hear me doing the whole the whole song through, and <laughs> um, and let's let's see how it goes. So th throughout the song, basically, I just I just um, change the uh, reverb and the volume and make sure that it sounds good, and that creates like the, the final version of the song. So let's do it. Passions, who I breathe in. Oh, the source of this universe's infinite love. I open my heart and I drink this waterfall. I'm 
That was kind of fun. I'm I'm glad I was guided to do that today. I was like, oh, I've never I've never mixed um, a song live before. And thank you for your beautiful comments. I did not expect uh, so many people to be uh, watching as I mix. And yeah, thank you so much, Ali and Sheila, for your kind comments. Uh, oh, Mandy's here as well. Hello, and meditate all. Um, and I think meditate all was saying. Uh, you're a, like a sound engineer or, or producer. That's, that's fantastic. I'm a professional music mixing mastering engineer. Wow. Fabulous. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and C, C Bomb as well. Hello. Um, thank you. So yeah, what I do now is um, I just I just save it. So what I... It's slightly interesting. You may notice there's no computer here. Um, I've spent like 25 years... Uh, in the in the computing industry, and I get a bit tired of them. So, uh, I mean, there's computers and everything nowadays. But um, what I do now is I just really focus on the like the it's like the analog um, digital equivalent of um, of mixing. So, I'm just going to save the song. So I just rename it from the default name to what should we call this song? Um, let's call it Breathe. And I just have a tiny little, you can't really see it here, but it's like a tiny little display. Will it go around? There we go. So yeah, it's like, it's so cool. It's like this little kind of like 1980s LCD display. It's like a calculator. Um, and if I can spell, and I have this little toggle and I just turn it around and I can just about see it this distance. As you can see, it's much slower than typing. Um, but what I do is I just give it enough characters of a name that's unique enough f 
for me to remember when I next look at the file that it creates. And you only have, oh, I don't know, is it 10 characters or something? So it keeps the typing short. It's really funny. I have this, you know, like words have magic and I have this, um, how do you describe it? It's almost like a fear of, of being able to spell breathe and also receive. That's funny. I know saving it also cuts out the microphone. <laughs> um, okay, so that's it. It's saved. And then what I do is I export it on the desk. And what that does is it just cre it just creates like a, a, a WAV file, a, a sound file from different channels. They're now all already in one on the mixing desk. And so they go into, into one. And then after that, I plug my phone, which I can't do right now because I'll just lose you. Uh, but I plug my phone into the mixing desk and I copy the, the file and I put it onto my phone. And after that, um, I use a, a service, an online service called eMastered. And it's uh, like an, an AI um, sound mixing uh, service. And it's it feels kind of simple, but it's it's really cool. What it just does is it takes like the song and makes it consistent in volume and the treble and bass is consistent. And it means that when I'm listening to it in like my phone or headphones or um, in the car or a speaker or whatever I'm listening it to, listening to, it's a pretty consistent sound. And all of my albums certainly have, um, have used that. And then most of the songs that I use when, when I'm, when I'm traveling as well, I, I use that service. It's been, it's been really fantastic and saved a lot of time. Um, and yeah, and then I just take the video. So I have to download the, the TikTok live stream. And um, that's really cool, Meditato. Um, yeah, it's, uh, they, they, they can work well. I don't think um, you or I will be out of a job for a while, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's super fun um, using services that, that make a big difference. I'm definitely all about high productivity and um, simplicity and, and low effort. So whatever I can get to, to the high quality fast um, is, is really helpful. It really suits my, my creative style. Um, everyone's different, right? And yeah, once I download the TikTok live stream and, and wish me luck today because we were breaking up towards the beginning, so I'm not sure how, how that will pan out. Um, I then just combine the two together. So I just use the audio to, to, to like listening to it to manually sync the sound from the what I've put through here and then through the eMastered service. And I use KineMaster, the a video editing software on my phone to, to sync them together. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's, it's a really, um, it's a fun process and I feel like I'm evolving it all the time, always looking for, for something similar. Um, meditate all saying very true. The human tuning into the feeling of the song and bringing it out is key, uh, when doing mastering. Oh yeah, I love that. Um, yeah, I definitely feel like, like that when I'm doing the, the, the mix down, process that we're doing just there is that you at, at every stage what we do is as humans is we effectively um encode the the creating the creation process with our thoughts and our feelings and and our love and so that's also why i was like holding up my hands and like sending love to you guys is like it feels like when we set the intention whenever we're creating that we are able to like embed those feelings into what we're creating. And so whether it's, you know, like some of the beautiful art that I, that I have on my wall, um, through to the, the songs that create the words that we speak, everything is like loaded with, it's like those frequencies and vibrations are just loaded with our intentions. And so the, the more we use, you know, um, computers or we use them in a way that we're not, um, we're, we're not, including our own intention, then we just start to dilute it a bit. Um, and it always, I always reflect on that. I, I feel like, I feel like if I was just sat in the same room as someone and I was doing a song, um, that it would be like the perfect expression. Like you'd feel just every, every aspect of me resonating the love that I put into a song. And so I always imagine that when I'm, when I'm creating, um, songs is I just I really put in my my heart and that feeling and that energy 
um, and it's so much more than this this physical reality. Uh, it's it's part of part of everything we do. It's like we change the reality around us with our thoughts and our feelings and our and our love. And so these actions that we're taking in creation are some of the most powerful, right? They amplify. My, I feel like my creation of music helps me amplify that that love. Um, so. Yeah, and very much the theme of the song, right? It's all about connecting into the the source of this universe, like, like the source of your passion, like the fire in your in your belly, the, the fire in your in your sacral chakra, and connecting into into source and the and the breath work, like really having big deep breaths and being able to calmly and completely fill your body with this infinite love, and it makes everything so much more sustainable, right? You're not just draining yourself and giving your energy to the world. You're channeling energy, infinite energy through you back to the rest of the world. And it's also what, what the world and the universe wants, right? Wants all, more of us to keep like flowing that energy through us and allowing ourselves to just, just surrender to that process where we're always like amplifying and, and driving this, um, this beautiful reality around us with, with our, our, our intention. And if you choose your love, um, and thank you, Sheila. It always wanted to understand this part uh, better. So it's it's so amazing. Yeah, I feel like it's it did take me about <laughs> it's very me like about fifteen hundred songs or whatever to to then realize like oh yeah the it like if you if you're down and you you know, if you're feeling like low vibration and you're in a, in a bad place and we all get there and I I get there too sometimes right is like if you create a song from that. It comes through in in the music. You you know it's it. You could play exactly the same notes and sing exactly the same notes, but your it's like your emotions are just over overlaid on top of it. Um, and then the opposite is true as well for like our highest vibrations. Um, and meditate all. I completely agree. I like to conceptualize reality as one. Ultimately, no separation between physical and spiritual. Yeah, absolutely. And hello to Julia. Welcome along. Thank you for coming. Um, and thank you for the finger heart. <laughs> uh, that's beautiful. So yeah, um, I think that's it It for today. I, um, uh, what's been going on? I, 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 I met up yesterday with um, the, the, the wife of uh, a dear um, colleague, a dear uh, team member, Adam, who'd, who'd passed away recently. Uh, so I met up with with his wife and we were just sharing memories and she shared like a beautiful card about how I was so happy that I could help support him um, through through his darkest times in, in his life. And she, she, one of the things she was reflecting on is she said, oh, yeah, she's, she said, Adam always spoke about the fact that you you wrote a song every day. And he just thought, even though um, in my part time job, I'm um, uh, like a, a, a senior manager in a corporate uh, company. Um, she's saying, oh, it's so amazing that you you can, you know, write a song each day. And it was a really beautiful human way of connecting. And he, he'd often listen. Um, and it was great to, to write him a song, Angels Choose, as a as a, as a, as a goodbye to him, um, as he's now on, on the other side. And yeah, really holding space for, for him and, and helping raise awareness. We're going to do some charity work for um, raising awareness of, of depression and the, the black dog Um charity in in australia and um yeah i've also as i said yesterday also getting ready for our first uh in-person group meditation um and ancestral akashic record healing and clearing session so that's with um my, my dear friend natasha Rosha, and she she's incredible um she's done readings on me and and they're they're, they're, you can see them, you can just search for them on my, my YouTube channel. They're like, they're incredible. Um, her, her detail and her ability to, to work with the Akashic Records, like the, the record of everything in space and time, past, present and future is, is truly beautiful. And I love that the theme is, is all about our ancestors because w many of us, including myself, have had like what, what you could call like witch wounds where we've been persecuted in previous lives for our spiritual gifts. And now it, it's very much about us like taking our, our power back, stepping into our power and saying, here we are, we're like, we're back. And this time we're, 
we're 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 taking over the place. Uh, we're coming back with our our high vibrations, our love, our different ways of seeing reality, our gifts, our psychic gifts, our physical gifts, and we're healing our past. And it's like the greatest wars in 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 my mind are won when we forgive each other, because forgiveness is the end. It is final. It, it, true forgiveness is letting go and letting go of all that past life trauma and healing and saying, it happened. I understand it. I accept my part in it and I forgive myself and I forgive everyone else. And now I'm ready to step forwards into this new reality that I'm co-creating with the rest of this universe. And so that'll be very much a key theme for the session. Um, it's on the 26th of March and we will be in uh, physically we'll be in Edinburgh in the Salisbury Centre. Um, so just visit uh, John Binney. I'll, one day I'll figure out how to put this the right way around. Um, <laughs> at JohnBinney.com. Um, you can see there's a, uh, you can book your, your tickets there. So it's physically in Edinburgh, Scotland, and then also on Zoom. And for people on Zoom, we're going to set up so that you can be part of um you know, the group session, like you won't just be observing, we'll be talking to the people on Zoom as well and really sharing experiences. And yeah, really excited to do that. And I'm sure it won't be the last. So uh, feel free to check it out and come along if you're interested. Okay, so I'm going to leave you there. Love you and leave you. And I hope you have a beautiful night and day wherever you are in the world. And I'm sending so much love from Scotland. Thank you for coming. I love you.